Okay. So, uh, yes. So last week we have uh, finished the the design UI and the score uh, scoreboard page, right? So, I you can use exactly the same project that you finished uh, from last week. We continue build from there. So this is what what we have done last week, right? Exactly the same UI. Right? So new game, uh, give it a name. We pass the name here. Okay. Uh, the only thing uh, we also added add one fun function, right? The only difference is I add this uh, label here and this uh, time label here. Is here, and I add a a, a time variable. Okay, I also set the label to be the time here. Okay, make sure uh, this before we move on. Okay. So today's content is more about this the, the rest of the content. Okay, we, we, we this is a bubble game, right? So the first thing we we, we interested in is the, how we make the bubble. Okay, because the bubble you have to like make it programmatically, and you have to tap it. And remove it. Okay, it's a pretty much com uh, customized one. Okay, and it's also better to have some animation with it. So the first thing is we want to learn how we can create a button in the code, and customize its appearance as well as the animation. Okay, it's the first task. The other task is how we can use the timer, right? There is a timing coming, timer coming down, uh, counting down every one second. Okay, so we need to figure out how we can do that and what we 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 have in the code. Okay, what what function or what power that Apple give us in terms of the timer, right? And then we need some more logic code here. Okay, how we are going to tap the bubble, uh, re remove, create. Okay. So don't worry about that. We will get there. Let's let's let let's move on uh, one step by step, and then you will be more clear what we left uh, to to do in terms of finish this project. Okay. So let's let's go to today's demo, animation and timer. Okay. Like I said, the first thing we want to uh, we are interested in is how we are we are going to create this button like in the code, okay? So if you remember that usually previously we created this button in the storyboard, right? By here and drag the button here, right? However, uh, this uh. This method not going to work in, in, in this scenario, right? The button we used in storyboard is fixed, right? The location is fixed, okay? You can add it here, you can add it here, but you cannot change it, I mean, by some logic in your code. So it's good for some like fixed label or fixed numbers here. It's always there, okay? We, we just drag and 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 make it in the, the design it in the storyboard and that's it. However, for this label, we cannot use uh, this approach, right? So we are interested in how to create a label in the code. Okay, so uh, let's turn on the panel, okay? And to see what, what we need to create a, a demo, okay? Uh, I'll create a, a button, right? So if you click the, the ruler icon here, and in the middle, you can see there is thing called a wheel, and there is thing called a frame rectangle, okay? And there are four values, okay? This is the essential information for a, any, I mean, any UI element, right? So in, in order to create a element on the screen, we need to know where is is x value, okay? Is x uh, is x location, okay? And is y location, okay? So the x location start from zero, 
zero is the is the most left, right? And the y if y equals zero, it becomes the left upper corner, right? So and the max value is your uh screen's height, okay? So it depends on the iPhone uh, device you use, right? Or the same layout that we choose. Okay. So we can set this uh, in here, and we can also set the the divide uh, and height here. Okay. And this is exactly the same thing that we need. We need. We need to know. Okay. Or we need to set in order to create a button on the screen. Okay, so remember this uh, setup here. Uh, whenever you, you you want to see it in in real in individually, you can go here and create a button and try with different numbers. Okay, so let's go back to game real controller and how can we can use this phone number to create a new button. Okay, we can do it in here. View did load, and we can also do it in here. Uh, it's called view did appear. Okay, so uh, you can try you can try both. Sometimes, uh, depending on the uh, condition, sometimes it works uh, better in this method other than that method. Okay. Remember the the uh, view controller side. Uh, life cycle that we illustrate. Okay, so in here we want to create a button, UI button in the code. Okay, so we just choose this one for to be more safe. Okay, uh, let's create a variable. Okay, we just name it a, a bubble. Okay, and we I, we want to create a UI button. Okay, so if you uh, press ESC, uh, okay, sorry, you have to uh, type a left pattern is uh, first. Okay, there are different initializer you can use to create the a, a, a UI button. Okay, so this one is what I am talking about. Uh, I was talking about right. You need a frame, the CG rect. Okay, the X Y. Right. Use this one, and we need a a frame. Okay, so let's create a frame first. Okay, frame. Okay, so frame equal like it's a CG rect, right? CG rect, and also left pyrotomic pyrotomist and the pattern and the ESC and there are different uh, initializer for this this thing okay x y you can use uh, neither okay you can, sorry you can use either okay we choose this double okay and x we may uh, just may give it some value right maybe 300 okay wide and height we want it to be equal to be a rectangle okay uh, let's say it's 100 right? okay so let's pass this frame in here okay and that's it that's how you create a, a button in the code okay so however uh, the code by default is transparent, okay? So we didn't set the, the, the label yet, right? And we don't need need the label for a bubble. So we don't want to use a, a label, but we need to see it. So we need to change the background color of it. We can also do this in, in, in the storyboard, right? So we just do the same thing here, okay? For background color. So we gave it a color, it's called UI color, right? UI color have a different kind of color. You just, you don't need to initialize it. If you want, you can use like using RGB, but we just have some uh, convenient uh, method called maybe blue, right? 
。OK， 来。And we 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 want to add this button to the current screen, right? And the current screen has a name in the in in the iOS, right? It called uh, self the wheel. Okay, the wheel of the current screen. Okay, so we call self the wheel. Okay. It has a method to add any UI element. It's called add sub view. Okay, straightforward, normal English, right? Add sub view, and then we just pass the bubble in here. Okay, that's it. Let's run to see what it looks like. See, a new bubble come come coming up in here. Okay. New button, right? Not not bubble. Okay. And the problem is like uh, it, it is a rectangle, right? It's not a circle. It's not not looks like a bubble to us. So we want to make it. Uh, a circle. So the way we are doing it is, like, is uh, there is a thing called layer. So under layer, there is a property called a corner radius. Okay, it is the way you make the 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 the, the button a round corner button. Okay, and you can also increase the the round button's value and the two. If you change it to, to half of the size, okay, half of the, of the white or half of the height, it will become a circle. Right? Makes sense. So we change it to change to fifty, right? This is one hundred and fifty. Okay, but we don't want to hard code here. Okay, uh, if you can not, if you you can use something other than hard code, then use it. Do not use hard code. Okay, we just want to half of this white. Okay, so we can use like uh, uh, zero point five. Okay, half of three dot white. Makes sense. And we play it again. The bubble pop up in the code, okay, without using the slower ball. Uh, make sure it's working on your side as well, okay. Let me know when you finish. Okay, very quick. So the problem here, though, yes, if I'm not sure if you noticed that or not. So if we press add one, the scroll get add right. But if we press this blue button, nothing happened, right? Guys. Correct, right? So that is because, like, when we do this add one, we right click and then drag this action to here. Remember, last time, last week, right? But in this new button, we, we don't have we, this. Uh, it is meaningless of doing that. Okay. Oh, there is no way of doing that, right? So we have to do it programmatically, okay? Or in the code. So we have to in the code. 
connect the uh, the press event to the function the function okay this one and one score that we created before make sense that's so this is this is how you do it. You just uh, call a ID target. Okay, ID target. This is the way how you connect it in the code. Okay, the target is self. Okay, and uh, we first use this one. Okay, so the the event is touch up inside. Remember. Remember if you go to like go to storyboard you right click on that and there is thing called touch up inset right this is the price event okay we call it touch up inset so this is the way we, we usually do it okay so in here it is still the same we need to call touch up inset we first highlight it and the price return. Okay. And then we add door in the in the end and type in touch up inside and this one will pop up and we choose this one. Okay. And the the selector is it, this action okay self is the current object. Okay, you have to add self here. And the action is uh, some 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 sort of awkward to you guys maybe. So, so what is select right? So it is a history reason right why it called select. But uh, you can just think of it as select as the function name. Okay. So we just need to pass this name. It's either one score here. Okay. However, we cannot uh, we cannot pass it this way. Okay. It, it didn't know. This is a function name or, or, or a variable, right? So we need to add this uh, this uh, weird syntax called hash key and the selector. Okay, this way. Okay. And inside this uh, parentheses, we add this thing called add one score here. Okay. Let's make sure there is no uh, complete error on your set. And we press and we play it again. Let me know when you're finished. If any issue, let me know, okay? So this is the way how you uh, how you how you do the uh, add the button in the code programmatically, okay? And then it's coming to the fun part, okay? The important part. And the benefit of doing it in the code is that we can we can add animation to the button, okay? So how to do it? Uh, let's uh, adjust the call button, okay. And this thing called the layer, right? We used it before, okay. And under layer, there is the thing called add and the bone. The first one is what we need, right? For the bone is uh, the first one is add some animation, okay. This is exactly what we are looking for, right? 
So add add a specific animation object to the layer. Okay. So we press enter. Okay. And we uh we in here. Okay. Now we're going to figure out how we can add this animation object. Okay. So if if uh if you press, I guess, press the Option key, Option or Alt key, right? press and hit, hold, press and hold, Option or the Alt key, press, press and hold, Option and Alt key, and click on the Add here, and it will pop up the documentation of how to, to tell you how to use this method, okay? So I and we, we are interested in this CA animation, okay? We don't know how to use it. We just click this CA animation, and this official documentation will pop up. So make sure you can you, you can find this page. Yes. Uh, okay. This is the whole library or whole class that for animation. You can definitely read, spend some time to study it and read, read it through it very detailing. But in here, like I'm just uh, going to work, <coughs> sorry. work through your guess, the basic one. So class this CA basic animation. And you can see there is several uh, uh, demo, uh, demo code pop up, okay? Let's try the the uh, the first one. You can try the example by yourself. Uh, we are, we are start with the first one. Copy paste. Copy the code here. Okay. Copy it and paste it paste it in here, okay? So it means we want to animate the opacity property, okay? At the start, it is zero, okay, which is, uh, we can't see it. And in the end, it is one, okay? So this is, uh, we can call it uh, the effect of fade in, okay? Right? It's how you fade in the, 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 the object, like you do it in prone point. Okay, so now we have this animation object. We can pass it in here. Okay, so we don't use the key. Okay, give it a new. The key is not very important. Okay, it for tracking purpose. We don't use it for simple animation like this. But this key pass is important. It specify which one, which property you want to animate. Okay. So animation. Uh, bubble layer and this key here okay so <coughs> sorry and if you want it the, the animation to be more uh, obvious there is another uh, property you can set up is that called duration okay it's how many seconds you want this animation to last i set it to 2.0 two seconds okay to just uh, show you guys Let's build it. And we can let it repeat also. Like just to give you guys some um, more, if there is a more customization you can try. Also, reverse. Auto reverse equals true. It will uh, go forward and backwards. Okay. So, all kind of things you can try. See, it will fade in and fade out and fade in and fade out, uh, repeat twice. But this is too much, okay? Yes, it's too much for the game. But you can figure it. You can configure it to suit you, uh, you, your step. Okay. Okay. So you can you you you, you can play around it uh, as long as you like uh, afterward, right? Uh, you can find a predefined effect on the internet. 
or you can think of uh, by your own with your creativity, right? So I come, I I just going to show show you guys another effect which I found on the internet and paste it here. Okay. So this is the fill in and we create another shake effect. Okay. And we I add this to to here here as well. Okay. So uh, we may uh, to to see the, the, the shake effect more obvious uh, to comment out this one. Okay. This one is a uh, pretty obvious. Okay, so it's two too long. I, I, shake. Okay, you can change the duration to 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 more uh, quick to have a more sense of shake. I think I changed the value afterwards, so it's not like shape anymore. Okay, this one is, looks like a shape to me. Make sure it's working on your side. Okay, so uh, let's continue. Okay, uh, let's continue. So basically, this is this is how you do the, the animation on UI button. Okay. And now we have a problem. Okay, of, of course we, we already got everything we need to create a button, right? We can copy paste this line of code, right? As much as we need, we want to create like 10 bubble or, or, or 20 bubble. That will become a nightmare, right? You have <laughs> you have so many a uh, lot of code. Okay, so this is why we shouldn't do. I mean, this is work. So make it work first. Okay. Now we are going to make it right. Okay. This kind of line of code shouldn't belong here. Okay? According to the principle of uh, object-oriented programming. So it should belong to the bubble class itself. Make sense, guys? So it should handle its own business rather than post everything here. Okay. So let's Next, let's refactor the code a little bit, right? Refactor the code a little bit to make it a more like decent or more right, okay? So the way we are doing it is we're going to create a customized UI button class, okay? Customer UI button class. Do it back, press Command plus N, or you, you knew a file here. Okay, choose this Swift file, click Next. Make sure it is added to, to here. Do not uncheck this. Click Quick. Change this foundation to UI Kit. Okay. And inside here, let's create a class, a uh, subclass. So class name is uh, Bubble. Superclass is UI button, of course. Okay, and now we need add some code here. Okay, so the first thing we want to uh, uh, change is we want to change this kind of initialized code into the initialized. Okay, so. Uh, let's override the default in initializer here. So override. Okay, init with frame. Okay, this is the one we use, right? So we first call super, right? Do init with frame and pass the frame. Okay, and then like we we copy, not copy, right? We move this line of code. Uh, this line, of, this two line of code. Okay. Move this to line of code. Ah, uh, sorry. Move this two line of code, not not this line. This three line, including the comment, comment. Okay, and change it to here. Okay. 
the the only thing we need to change is change the bubble right to sell since it is already a bubble okay and sell no, we don't need to change anything okay and then the other thing uh, is like uh, the the compiler give some error okay there is a required initializer you have to uh, overwrite okay we click this fix here okay and and like uh, it it is like not implemented so this this initializer is used in a uh, storable okay so we can also like uh, override this function but we which which we do not need okay but just for completeness okay initial with coder coder is storable file okay so with this coder the same approach right and now we we're going to copy the code from there into here okay and there is a little difference though so the frame is not uh, accessible within this uh, this this initializer so we need to change the frame into self dot bounce this is the frame okay self dot bounce is the frame okay change this to And the next is the most more most important one. We can change all the all the the animation effect into the bubble Swift file itself, right? So let's first okay uh, cut this effect here into the oh sorry I gave you the wrong name right? It should be the bubble. But let's figure out uh, later okay so we copy paste the, the code here okay so we want to change all the, 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 the animation into a function okay so since it is the effect of fade in okay we name a function create a function name fade in okay we don't need to we don't need para parameters okay we just uh, cut this code into here. It's that right? Uh, it's not done yet. We need to change the bubble to self, right? Like I said. Okay. So with the same approach, we can create another function called uh, shake, right? And we copy paste, copy the the code from here. Into here, okay. And change the bubble to self. Okay, guys, should be no problem, right? And then we're coming back to this game view controller, okay? And so after we we after we add this bubble, we want this bubble uh, called the animation function in bubble like shake right so we just need to call bubble dot shake okay but it's not recognized this shake yet because in here it is new UI button so we need to change this UI button to bubble okay and now it should recognize this function 
is all the problem. Okay. Make sure you do this to change. Okay. And we run it. Okay. We can call fill in also, right? So you just call the function here instead of writing every uh, code in this function. So let me see if I can rename this or not. If I rename this, will it also rename in the in, in my desk? Oh, it's also renamed. Then it should be fine, okay? Okay? Think about what you can do here, guys. Okay. So here is blue, right? Uh, what about running the 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 the, the, the color here, guys? And what if I add a property called score? Called bubble score. Bubble score which equal to which equal to new and we so rather than the color and the score bubble score remember the, 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 the requirement that black score black color that black color head have the, 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 the most uh, uh, highest score right so maybe in here, okay, I got sort the bubble score equal to maybe five. Make sense, guys? In, in in here, instead of just adding one, right? Instead of just add one, what we can do? Okay, we can change this as. Uh, any to bubble, right? And not adding one, but adding the bubbles score. Bubble score. Okay. Send the door. You have to save it first. Okay. Bubbles. Uh, this is optional, right? So let's give it a, a let's not give it option give it a one by default. Okay. And here we set it to five. Okay. You need to change, right? To do. Okay. In in here we have no problem. Okay. See, every time I press it, it's increased by five, not 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 one anymore. Okay. However, if I click click this one, it crashes. Okay, guys. I leave this as a question for you guys. We figure out why this is crashed. Okay, and how we are going to fix it. This is the UI button. It's now the, the, the uh, the bubble button, right? We have two way of fix it. One way we can just delete it, okay. Since we, we are not using it anyway, okay. But if by some reason we have to use it, we can change the change the class in here, okay? Change it to bubble. That's in here, there is a customer class. You change it to bubble, and it should fix the problem. It's also change the the, the 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 appearance, right? Because we have this, we have this two line of code uh, in here, okay. But in here, if this one five score and this one score, right? Five score, one score, five score, one score. Okay, but we don't need this one. Okay, we just delete it.
I just show you guys how to fix it. Now we are going to figure out how uh, going to learn the timer thing. Okay, timer is pretty straightforward. So okay, we want a timer. Okay, uh, fortunately there is a timer for us. It's just called timer. Okay, the timer, and uh, you you call it the schedule timer in here. Okay. So there are different initializers here. The one we are interested in is, is the first one. Okay? So remember, you, you see schedule timer with time interval, time interval, repeat, ball. And the block. Remember last time in lab 3 that I told you, whenever you see some parameter like this, what is, is, is expected? Some weird param par uh, parameter like this. Is expecting a closure, right? As a some kind of callback handler. Okay, this is exactly the same scenario here. Okay, so we are going to use this one. Okay. Time interval is how 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 frequent it get there. Okay, get there. So we need one second here, and the repeat is also like uh, whether it will repeat or not. We want it to repeat. So true. Okay. So this block is just uh, it, when it fails, it will call this function with pass this timer itself, and you can do anything here. Okay. There is no return. You just give you a, a function or a space to do the things you like. Okay, so there is a hint here. You just highlight this one. Okay, and you press the return key here. Okay, and it will change into this syntax. Okay, don't confuse with okay why this function already uh, finished and there is a there is a uh, brace here. It's just that the compiler automatically changed the, the, the form into this way. Uh, for you to write, uh, I mean, for human to read more clearly. Okay. So in here, the timer, we just gave you the name timer. Okay. And in the code, okay, we don't need to do, uh, we don't need to do anything yet. We just uh, uh, we just print something. Okay, print timer fire. Okay, let's see. Let us see what will happen. Okay. Click new game. See? You see? In the console. Every one second after it become it print out something. Okay? Cool? So in, in here we can what we can do, right? So first we already get 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 the place the timing that we can write some code. Okay, so what code we want to do? Yes, we want to first we want to counting down, right? Counting down the time. Okay. So the way we do it is we use this one, right? So self dot ten uh, minus plus minus equal one. Okay, right? And we want to update the time label. Okay, this is the two thing, right? Update the time is one thing. Update the time label is another thing. Okay, so this is the time label. Okay, this is the time. Guys, so self dot time label. 
dot test equal string ten. Okay. Okay, sorry, string self dot ten. You have to add self in inside the block. What we want to do next, guys? What's the possible issue here? Think about it in ten seconds. The answer will automatically show up. See? Yes. You see the problem now? It become negative, right? We don't want to do this thing happen. So we need to check if the timer become negative. And if so, we need to invalidate it, right? Make this stop, right? So if self dot time less or equal than zero. Okay. Self dot okay. Uh, then we need to terminate this uh, timer, right? Fortunately, the timer has a function just called invalid. Okay. And let's try again. We don't want to wait uh, six seconds this time, so we change this to 10. Okay, then you basically have everything you got to finish the game. Okay, you just had that timer, and every one second you got a notification. Okay, you can like create bubbles, remove bubbles, or shuffle the bubbles in here. Okay. Make sense, guys? So every one second, we want to like, if, say if you have a, a array of a bubbles, you want to remove all these bubbles, and you create, you want to create a, a bunch of new, right? And you want to show them on the screen. Make sense? This is all you can do in, is in here. So to give uh, you guys a feeling of it, we move the code uh, from here to here, okay? One thing we need to change is we need to add this self in here, because everything inside the block, we need to add the self in front, in able to access it, okay? If we like do this, maybe we change this uh, uh, Y location to, to 300 minus, maybe minus uh, self, dot time here multiply by 10 maybe okay try try out uh, by yourself so every time every one second the it generates something okay Uh, not so cool, right? So, so what if we change it to hundred and ten minus maybe? Just uh, play around with the number here, okay? So this may be sixty and sixty, okay? And the other thing is, whenever we we click press this button, we want it to be removed, okay? So this is one thing I, I want you guys to know, okay? There is a thing called remove from super wheel. This is the uh, method you want to call if we want to remove this button, okay? So I think that should be work.
uh, make sure it's working on your side. I hope this is give you guys enough hint. You can just play around the position and the, the mechanism to generate it. What you only to need is some rather function, okay? Or you, you don't use rather, you can use your own logic, okay? Play with it. So what about we create another uh, we create another bubble, right? Bubble one. Bubble one. So bubble one. Bubble one uh, fill in first. And then shake. Okay? So this we create two two bubbles, okay? So frame one, okay. So inside the bubble, okay, you should like uh, uh, change the color based on something, okay, some rather, okay. So what if I just change if if frame uh, door if frame door uh, x this thing like this. Anyway, play around with it. Okay, else what happened? Change the color, right? Uh, to uh, red. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if this works or not. Just uh, play with it. Okay, works, right? Different score and the different color. Uh, that's it for today. I will see you next one.